Hey, Noah, what's up? I thought you were off at the temple listening to that preacher from Galilee. Uh, yes, and every other time, I found it a very uplifting, even joyful experience. <laughs> Remember last week when he arrived on the white cult? Yes, that was awesome. But what was so different this week? <sighs> well, it started out uh, it started out as good and uh, well, it started out just as good and Jesus' message was the same. You know, love God God loves us, we should love each other. The most important thing is to love God and follow his plan, the golden rule. Treat others as you yourselves would be treated. So peace, share, look after each other. But then... Yes? Well, there was, a bit of, there was a bit of a break, and I overheard two Pharisees talking to Jesus. They told him that he needed to stop agitating people against the leaders of the priests, or, or, or the priests would use the law to stop him, even have the soldiers arrest him. They might even bring in Herod. That's not good. What did Jesus do? He just looked at them in that way he has that seems to cut to your very soul. So then they started justifying things. That's not good. So how can they justify that after he was talking about peace and us being kind to each other? Well, they started going on about how he was stirring people up against the Jewish leaders who were, who were just applying the law. And if the leaders don't do something, the Romans would, would think they could not control the people. And we, and well, you, you know how the Romans would, would run things. That would be very bad for everyone, especially for the temple. I'm not sure I would like the Romans fully running things. I mean, I do like good roads, but they have Romanized other faiths. Jesus just looked at them for a couple of minutes, and then he told them that hiding behind the law would not save them the sin of ignoring God's people. And then he went on teaching as if they, they had never, uh, never come by. So he was given an explanation, but still, he persisted. Yes, and I am trying to understand why. He is ignoring his personal danger with no hope of per personal reward. It's a scary example, people. It is a scary, scary example.